Well, hey there, everybody. Pastor Jeremy here, and I'm very excited uh, to be taking you through this tutorial video on how to utilize uh, Google Classroom and especially how to utilize the Google Classrooms that we have set up uh, for you all in our virtual Sunday School classrooms. Of course, this pandemic has been uh, has been a difficult one, and we have faced a lot of challenges, uh, difficulties finding ways um, to continue to be together and to share God's word together in the midst of this time, yet make sure everybody is safe. And so, um, as we've said to you already, we decided that uh, having in-person Sunday school this year just wasn't gonna make sense for anybody. So we wanted to be sure we had something really awesome for you to participate in. And we're very, very excited about this virtual model that we've uh, established for everybody. A couple of um, introductory thoughts about this. Uh, the first is, um, we are utilizing Google Classroom. So if you at your school are utilizing Google Classroom, um, everything that we're gonna do is gonna function very much the same way uh, your school is functioning right now. Um, if you're someone whose school, I, did, I know that some schools are using things like Microsoft Teams or other uh, platforms instead of uh, Google Classroom. Um, if, if you're not super aware of how uh, Google Classroom works, the one thing I can share with you is that it's really, really user friendly. We've test run this with a couple of different people at, at different um, uh, computer literacy levels. And, uh, and to some extent, everybody was able to figure out pretty much on their own uh, where to go and what to do. And so we hope that this will be a very simple um, experience for you, but also a very rich one filled with lots of fun things. I don't want this uh, video to go on forever, so I do want to take you now into our Google Classrooms um, and show you around a little bit. Um, each of you will be receiving uh, in your email um, an invitation to join a classroom. Now, if you have a student who uh, is, for example, in uh, maybe our, our preschool classroom and you have a student who is in our fourth grade classroom, you would receive two um, invitations, one for each student. If uh, both of your children happen to fall in the same classroom, uh, you, you will likely just receive one invitation uh, to join that classroom. Um, once you've selected join in that invitation email, you will be then linked to the Google Classroom. If you don't currently have a Google account, uh, there are a few extra setup measures you'll have to do in order to link your uh, email, whatever kind of email it is, with the Google Classroom. Uh, you won't be required to create a Google uh, account in order to use this. It will automatically link you. Um, if you already have a Google account, it'll just link very, very seamlessly. And there's lots of great notification opp opportunities that are available regardless of whether you have a Google account or some other account um, and you'll find those all under the settings feature of the classroom. So for now let me just uh, take you quickly over to our classrooms and explain a little bit about how this is all going to work. So uh, on your screen now you should be seeing um, uh, our, our Google virtual Sunday School Classroom, and you'll notice, um, hopefully you'll be able to see my uh, cursor here, you'll notice that we have four different uh, classrooms going from uh, the, uh, the oldest students down to the youngest students. Um, the oldest students' uh, classes are junior high class, which is uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh grades. Um, and uh, this is gonna be a really awesome classroom with uh, some di diving deeper and pushing these students to think a little bit more about faith and, uh, and the different stories that we're gonna read from scripture this year. Then we have our uh, elementary classroom for third and fourth graders. We have our preschool, uh, kindergarten, uh, first grade and second grade classroom, our, our uh, early elementary classroom. And then we have our toddler room, which is our toddlers, twos, and three-year-olds. Um, I'm going to begin uh, this tutorial video in the junior high uh, classroom. If you only have a toddler student, feel free to go ahead and fast forward the video uh, to the toddler portion, although um, much of what you're going to see in the other classrooms is going to be um, each of the classrooms functions pretty much the same way. So here's the junior high classroom, and uh, when you log in, you're gonna see a screen fairly similar to this. Um, you, of course, won't have the people or the grades uh, um, opportunities up here, but um, 
you will see this main page, which is the stream page. Uh, this stream is designed to be a communication feature between the teachers and the students, uh, between the teachers and the parents. Of course, we're having to utilize parent email addresses and parent accounts for this. So um, parents and students, uh, when you're making comments, uh, please be sure to let us know if the comment's coming from the student or from the parent. Um, but you can feel free to interact with one another utilizing this Google stream here. Um, and interact with your teachers here as well. And when we click on the classwork section, you're gonna notice that there are um, six key components to each classroom. Uh, the first one is this welcome to CFCC Virtual Sunday School. And if you have already clicked on this tutorial video, you've already found your way to this piece. Uh, but basically there's a great video here from Miss Carol welcoming you to our Virtual Sunday School module. And then the tutorial video is housed here as well. Um, we also have weekly lesson videos. Each week, um, one of your Sunday school teachers or myself will be recording a, a, a brief overview video of the, the story, lesson, scripture passage we're gonna be working through for that week. All of the rest of the content in the classroom relates back to what was taught in that first video. Now, something else that's really cool is all of our grades, no matter how young or old you are, you're seeing the same video. We've tried really hard to make those videos um, applicable no matter how old you might be because God's word is applicable to all of us. Sure, for our youngest students, it's gonna take more explanation. For our older students, we're gonna to wanna to push you to think a little bit more about that. But everybody's gonna see the same lesson video. So if we click on week one lesson video, you'll see here, uh, there's Miss Carol's uh, picture that shows up. And if you were to click on this particular link right here, it would take you directly to uh, the week one lesson video. You'll find a lesson video here for each week. Um, and those will be uploaded uh, by Friday of the week before. So for example, today is Friday before September 13th. So we have week one up. Next Friday uh, before September 20th, we will have week two's uh, lesson video uh, up and loaded and ready to go. In the rest of the categories, you're gonna find information that applies to week one and some to week two. In some categories, we've even got information that applies to week three. Um, so here we have our daily family scripture challenge. Uh, we wanted to encourage your families to be reading God's word together every single day. And uh, we just thought if we called it a challenge, um, it might be more engaging for all of you because we are challenging you. We are challenging you to say, find an opportunity every single day as a family to sit down and read in God's word. And so here in the junior high uh, classroom, you're gonna notice if you um, expand this first one that there is uh, a scripture uh, citation. And let me see if I can make that just a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, there's a scripture citation for you all here. And then there are two questions for reflection. As we get down into the younger grades, you're gonna find that uh, in some grades, there will actually be some scripture already there. You can just come here and read it together as a family or print it out and read it together as a family. And for the youngest kids, um, you'll find that this daily uh, family scripture challenge isn't gonna start until October. And we've got a very fun way to engage our youngest kids in reading God's Word together each day. I'll talk about that when I get to the toddler classroom. Let me shrink this back down just a little bit now. And uh, you'll notice we already have the daily scripture, uh, family, uh, daily family scripture challenge um, uploaded for you all the way through uh, half of the second week of our year. And each day we'll be adding more of those scripture challenges for you. The next category um, then is the weekly memory verses. Let me scroll down to that. Whoops. Sorry guys, okay. The weekly memory verses is right here. And each week we're gonna encourage each student to memorize some scripture. Um, when uh, your student has memorized whatever passage of scripture we have loaded there, we encourage you then uh, to allow them to use your phone or a camera of some kind, maybe a computer, and record themselves um, saying, uh, reciting the, the weekly memory verse. 
Um, then we would encourage you to come back here and because this is an assignment, you can upload a video uh, and, and you can um, then say that you've completed that assignment, if you will. There's no grades, of course, or anything. But what there is, is that when each student uploads a video, they will then uh, get a, a memory verse reward. And uh, those will be um, provided to you most likely on a monthly basis, but some teachers may choose to do that on a weekly basis. And that will either be sent to your home or it will be dropped off to your home by your Sunday school teacher, whichever you prefer. We have um, weekly memory verses uh, loaded all the way through the sixth week of, of Sunday school. So, so you can get a, a jump start on learning uh, all those great memory verses. Um, and then this, category, this next category is dinner discussion starters. Here you're going to find just some interesting little things that you can talk about around the table that we hope will spur some fun conversation around your table. It doesn't necessarily always have to do with God's word or even matters of faith. Um, uh, some of these are just fun things. Uh, for example, um, name one wild animal that you would like to keep as a pet. Uh, so just fun things to get you talking around the table. Who knows how these might blossom into discussions about faith. So we have uh, currently uh, seven different discussion starters that are loaded for you. Um, we understand that life gets busy and you might not be able to do this every single night. Listen, if, if you do this once or twice a week, we would just be thrilled with that. And uh, we hope that you'll just come back and check off and for new discussion starters that'll be loaded. Uh, the final category is family fun activities. Again, this um, is different for each of our classes here in the uh, junior high classroom. Um, we have uh, six activities loaded, everything from uh, a jello a treat that you can make together to uh, making a, a, a sneaky serpent sock craft um, and baking apple pie bites. And then we also have a hidden word find and a disappearing sin project lots of great things. I'll unfold this first one for you and show you um, that here you will find, for example, for this uh, Jello creation one, you're going to find the recipe here, the ingredients, and there's even a picture there to show you what the end product should look like. We have lots of different things coming up throughout the year that are going to be uh, just as fun as these, and we really hope that you'll uh, take time as a family and participate in these because then, especially the food ones, wow, you get to share something really great together, something very yummy. Um, so that's our junior high uh, classroom. Um, you can obviously in each and every one of these topics, you can also interact with one another via a stream that's, um, that's independently operated for that particular item. So if you want to talk about the weekly lesson video, you can um, comment on the stream in that weekly lesson video if you'd like, or you can comment on the stream uh, on the front page of your classroom. I'm going to go back and uh, now move up to our third and fourth grade class. I'm not going to go through every single piece of it because it's very much the same as it is for our junior hires. Um, you'll notice this is the main page where we have that main stream again. You'll find the welcome to CFCC virtual Sunday school piece. There is the weekly lesson videos weekly memory verses. I do want to unfold this and show you um, that uh, even for our third and fourth graders, we are encouraging them to, <coughs> excuse me, we are encouraging them to go ahead and learn the actual scriptures. So we've, li we've loaded simple passages of scripture that we think are fairly easy to memorize, and we'd love to have you <coughs> helping your third and fourth grade students begin to learn those verses. Uh, the Daily for Family Scripture Challenge doesn't change uh, except for down in the toddler classroom. And so those are all the same as we saw for the junior hires. And then the um, dinner discussion starters are also the same here for the third and fourth graders. And the family fun activities are almost all the same. Um, there will be some slight variations based upon the grade level. And so there may be things in the junior high group that you don't see represented here uh, because they apply more to an older um, classroom. Let me jump forward now to our uh, early elementary school classroom, which is preschool through second grade. Um, again, 
you have the same concept here. You've got a uh, um, a stream, a main front page stream that you can all be uh, communicating back and forth with one another and with your teachers and with myself. I'll be checking it as well. So if your your student has a question and you think, wow, Pastor Jeremy might want to answer that one, um, feel free to put it up there and I'll be checking them every day and I can be um, commenting on those for you as well. Um, if we click into the classroom, you'll notice it looks just like that third and fourth grade classroom does. If we unfold the first weekly memory verse, however, you'll notice it's a little bit different. And so what we've done is we have taken the scripture and we've either created a fun little poem, a limerick, a little song, if you will, um, to make it easier for our younger students to memorize these passages of scripture. And so um, we'd love to have you utilizing these um, with with our, our, our earliest elementary students and with our toddler room students. I think something fun you can do is maybe even just sing these around the house or say them around the house and you'll you'll be amazed how quickly uh, your students will begin to pick up on scripture uh, the daily family scripture challenge is the same also um, here uh, as it was before although notice now we've actually um, printed out for you some scripture in here because it comes from a special children's version of the Bible that's only available online um, and you have to subscribe to it. So we wanted to make that available to you for free. Um, and so you'll find the the scripture listed here. You can come here and either print it and read it or uh, view it from maybe from your phone or from a laptop and read it together. And then there is a, a, a very simple question for reflection for these younger students. And if we go down, we find our dinner discussion starters. They're the same all the way across the classrooms. And then we have the family fun activities. Um, again, uh, most of these are going to be the same. There are going to be some changes as we go between the older and younger students. But this is where you can find items. Um, and all of them are marked either week one, week two, and so on and so forth. Let me show you then the last classroom, which is the toddler classroom. And um, we're so excited to be able to, uh, to, to continue to grow together with our youngest students. Um, and so um, again, here you have the, the, uh, the stream page, the very front page of the classroom. You can interact back and forth. Um, don't forget, you can also upload videos and other things to this page. So, um, you know, it's obviously it's going to be kind of hard for toddlers to, to type something out or whatever it might be. So if they have a question, you want to record them doing that feel free. Um, and we would love to see those videos pop up here as well. Um, under classwork, you're going to find many of the same things we've seen in all the other classrooms, except um, when we get down to our memory verse, you'll notice we also have the same little lim limericks or little poems for them to try to memorize. And our daily family scripture challenge is where the big difference comes in for the toddlers. Um, we know that sitting down with a Bible and reading through it with a toddler is a very complex thing. So we have um, identified several great resources that we would love you to consider purchasing for your uh, toddler aged child. Um, they are the Complete Illustrated Children's Bible, the Jesus Storybook Bible, and the Big Picture Storybook Bible. Now, if you have also maybe a student in the uh, first grade or second grade or kindergarten classroom, um, these would be great books for them as well, especially for your first graders, because they're great books for them to start reading back to you. Um, and so we would love to have you consider purchasing these items. They're all available on Amazon as well as through Christian book distributor, cbd.com. Um, and they're not too badly priced. Um, if you purchase all three, it's about a $40 investment and uh, you'll be able to use these books uh, for, for several years. So we think it's a really wise investment. Um, under uh, So then, I'm sorry, one last thing about the Family Scripture Challenge for this age group then. What we will do is we will select readings from each, one of those three books and, and we'll mix them up um, and encourage you to be reading those together as a family um, each and every day. Uh, the dinner and discussion uh, starters... Um, dinner discussion starters uh, for our youngest students is a little bit different. Um, and so let me unfold this first one. Um, and you'll notice here we have uh, questions like, what is your favorite animal? And why do you like that kind of animal so much? And then we give a little bit of a hint here. We say, parents, this would be a great time to remind your young students 
that God made everything we can see, including trees, water, the sun, and animals too. This doesn't have to be, you know, a sermon or a lecture. We're just asking you to, to remind our, our youngest students that God is with us every single day and show them instances of that. Um, like, for example, when we see animals that we really like. Um, the family fun activities, many of the same activities uh, as you'd seen throughout the rest of the classrooms. Of course, only the ones that really apply to the youngest students are uploaded here. And then we have some additional things. We have an additional fun video um, called the In the Beginning video that we think your kids will love to sit and watch together. Um, so these are all of the classrooms. Let me flip back here real quickly. Um, these are all of the classrooms that we've created for uh, our virtual Sunday School model. Um, I am the one who's going to be um, uploading all of the content um, over however long we're doing this virtual learning mod module, most likely this entire um, Sunday School year. Um, and, and, and so if you have any questions, concerns, or if there's a certain kind of content you'd like to see that you're not seeing, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll do my best to try to include that as well. Um, we are very excited that we have uh, many of our Sunday School teachers on board. They're going to be recording those lesson videos, so you'll see them throughout um, the year. And one great thing about that is that even our toddler students are going to get to know the faces of, for example, our junior high teachers and uh, start to build relationships in some small way with them. So it's going to be a great year. We're very excited about this virtual uh, Sunday School module. If you have any questions or concerns, please, please, please be sure to reach out to me. Uh, reminder, my email is Pastor Heikem, P-A-S-T-O-R-H-E-I-T-K-A-M at gmail.com. Um, or you can certainly feel free to give me a call uh, at the church or uh, via my cell phone, um, and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. Until we see each other once again, I hope you uh, really, really enjoy this virtual Sunday School module, and uh, may God continue to bless you all in the middle of this very difficult time. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon.